Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 30th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question is from the surface areas and volumes chapter. A right circular cylinder and a cone have equal bases and equal heights. If their curved surface areas are in the ratio 8 is to 5, then find the ratio between the radius of their bases to their heights. So let us try to understand the question by considering a rough figure first. So here you can see that I have drawn a right circular cylinder and similarly I have drawn a right circular cone and they both have equal bases which means the radius of base of the cylinder is exactly equal to the radius of the base of the cone. So you can see that I have considered R as a radius of the base of cylinder as well as the cone. Similarly, the heights of the cylinder and the cone are also same as it is mentioned here. So I have used H as the height of cylinder and H as the height of the cone. Now there is additional letter which is represented as small l and it stands for this slant height of the given cone. H is the perpendicular height and L is the slant height which is inclined with respect to the base. Now, according to the given information, the curved surface areas of the cylinder and the cone are in the ratio 8 is to 5. So let me write here. Since it is a ratio, we are going to write it as curved surface area of cylinder over curved surface area of cone is equal to 8 is to 5 is written as a fraction, which is 8 over 5. Next, we are going to write the formula for the curved surface area of cylinder and cone. The curved surface area of cylinder formula is 2 pi r h where r is the radius of the base of the cylinder and h is the height and curved surface area of cone is given as pi r l where r is the radius of the base of the cone and l is the slant height. Now since we know that the radius are the same for both cylinder and the cone we can just cancel the r that is radius from the numerator and r from the denominator. Similarly, the pi from the numerator divides the pi from the denominator. So we are left with 2h over the slant height is equal to 8 over 5. Next, let us take the 2 on the other side of the equal to sign. So we are going to write here height over the slant height is equal to 8 over 2 comes to the denominator. So 2 times 5. Now 2 divides the 8. So we have 2 1 times and 2 4 times 8. So we get h over l as 4 over 5. Next. Now let us see what is the relationship of this slant height to the perpendicular height and the radius. Because in the question we have to find the ratio between the radius and the height. Not the slant height but the perpendicular height. Now if we look at this cone, we can see there is a right angle triangle which is formed. Let me highlight this. So the perpendicular height, the radius and the slant height together form a right angled triangle. And the slant height L is acting as the hypotenuse of this triangle. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we can write the hypotenuse square, which is the slant height square is equal to the height square h square plus r square. So here we are going to take L and the square shifts on the other side of the equal to sign. So it becomes square root of h square plus r square. Now we got the representation of L in terms of h square and r square. So let us substitute in place of L. So h over in place of L we substituted square root of h square plus r square is equal to 4 over 5. Now let us square on both the sides that is I am going to square the left hand side entirely and I am going to square the right hand side entirely. So here the square goes to the numerator and we are going to get here h square over. Now when you are squaring the square root, the square root disappears. So we have in the denominator h square plus r square. And the right hand side we are going to square the 4 first. So 4 square is 16 over 5 square is going to be 25. Next we are going to cross multiply these terms. That is 25 multiplies with h square and 16 multiplies with h square plus r square. So 25 h square is equal to 16 times h square plus 16 times r square. Now let us gather the like terms on one side of the equal to sign. That is taking 16 h square over here. We are going to get 25 h square minus 16 h square is equal to 16 r square. 
Since these two are like terms, so 25 minus 16 gives us 9 h square is equal to 16 r square. Next, in the question they have asked us to find the ratio of the radius to its height. So let us take the ratio of radius and h square on one side of the equal to sign and numbers on the other side. So 16 comes towards the left hand side. So we are going to write it as 9 over 16 is equal to. Now h square goes on the other side of equal to sign and we get r square over h square. Now finally, since r and h both are squared, let us take the common power and write here 9 over 16 is equal to r over h the whole square. Then we are going to send the square on the other side of the equal to sign. So r over h is equal to square root of 9 over 16. And we know that the square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 16 is a 4. So the ratio of the radius of the base to its height is going to be 3 over 4. Or we are going to write the ratio as r is to h is equal to 3 is to 4. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.